Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now today is a locomotive review and what a locomotive to review. Um, this, as you can tell, it's by Hornby. It's quite a new model, judging by the packaging. And it is, of course, a 5200 or a 5205 class. Uh, this is in BR Lightcrest and number 5243. And just from the image we can tell, well, it looks pretty, pretty nice. So uh, this is, of course, in the uh, newer style of packaging. Uh, the model itself is courtesy of Jacob Borich. Oops, here we go. Um, one of my good friends who has provided a few locomotives to review. So uh, looking at the end of the box, um, it is R3126 BR280T, class 52XX 5243. Uh, its minimum radius is 438mm, which is second radius, I believe, and it is DCC ready. So it's uh, not the biggest box, but it's not a big loco, so we'll turn over. Um, they were Churchwood. Uh, the, these, this class of locomotive, the 52s, originated from the 42XX, um, designed by Churchwood, and then I believe... Collett um, did some modifications to them and um, built or rebuilt them into 52XXs. Yes, decided to modify the 42XX in 1923. They went um, under detail alteration, modification, and increased cylinder size and outside steam pipes, and thus an increased tractive effort. Um, they were reclassified until in, in, as... <laughs> as 52XXs and continued to be built until 1926. Um, this particular example, a lovely photo of there, 5243 was outshot from Swindon on the 31st of August 1924 and withdrawn from Shed 86C 7 Tunnel Junction on 30th of November 1964 and the locomotive was cut up at Newport on the 28th of February 1965, unfortunately. But yes, so that is the brief history of the class. So they originated from the 42s, basically modified 4200s. So I will uh, get this open and see what see what all the fuss is about. Rightio then guys, so we are here with our 52XX, um, a lovely model at first glance, but before I go into that I'd just like to point out the details and the instruction manual, so you've got some steps, some brake rigging, a spare coupling and some vac hoses uh, to be fitted to the model if you so desire. Uh, so the instruction manual now, because the 42, the 52 and the 72XXs from Hornby uh, all basically use the, the same chassis they have provided instructions for the lot of them so it just covers the general uh, the normal sort of stuff that uh, Hornby instructions provide and you've got lubrication points body removal uh, brake rods and accessories how to remove the body as I just said DCC ready and then sort of yeah fitting the accessories um, then I got TV suppression again <laughs> I don't really know what that's for but hey We'll just go with it. Um, so we will now look at the model in detail. Rightio then guys, so here we are with uh, the model quite close up now and um, oh, wow, at, uh, at the first the first time you hold it, the first time you sort of lay your eyes on it, you can tell it's going to be a beauty. Um, so we'll start up at the front here, now surprisingly uh, this does not have sprung buffers. Um, now, I do believe that Hornby have re-released these models, the 42, 52, and 72, all with sort of now sprung buffers and a, uh, a separately fitted um, uh, spunk box dart. Uh, as uh, th These models were produced sort of in the height of their design clever scheme, which people, there was mixed mixed reactions about it. But, um, so yeah, anyway, so you don't have sprung buffers, unfortunately. You've got um, a NEM coupling right in there, and a nice hook, some nice buffer being riveting, and um, again, actually for the rivet counters, there's a heck of a lot on it. Um, 
rivets all over the, the front uh, plate there under the smoke box and uh, some nice grab irons and uh, sort of you know steps and whatnot. So yeah, moving on. You, that, now that is the steam pipe and the cylinder again with some cylinder cocks, uh, cylinder drain cocks. Uh, this camera might struggle to pick it up, but there is some detailing just inside there, which is nice of Hornby to add. Uh, not like some of the recent models that have fully red painted working motion and things, but um, no, it's nice of them to include it. So you've got a nice step up there. And moving on to the smoke box, you've got, as I mentioned, a moulded smoke box dart, uh, a number plate, and a shed code, which uh, 85B. Uh, someone can comment what that is if you want. Um, I'm not sure. But so you've got some very nice uh, etched or separately added, rather, handrails around the smoke box and the beginnings of the boiler. And uh, the chimney there is uh, nicely added there too, along with many more rivets, which is uh, very nice. Uh, so you're yeah, moving on to the boiler and down to the water tanks. You've got uh, some, you've got the water fillers, the water breathers, and all sort of that jazz. Then you've got the black uh, safety valve dome, which is kind of disappointing. It would have been cool to have it in gold, but hey, can't ask for everything. Um, yeah, and then basically the tanks are identical either side, as you can see. Um, so yeah, the water filler and breather and uh, various sort of pipe work from the cab up into the safety valves. Um, wait, did I say safety valves? Safety valve cover? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so you got some. Uh, you got the nice whistle there as well, which is uh, I don't. Th I think that's just painted plastic, unfortunately, but. As I said, you can't get everything. Uh, you've got the washout plugs, um, various detail around the firebox end of the boiler there. Now there is the, uh, the separately fitted... Uh, what do you mean separately fitted? There we have the, uh, the BR logo, the cycling line. Uh, was that? No, 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 the other one, the Lake Crest, sorry, my apologies, with British Railways. And as I said, many, many rivets down the tent, uh, the tent of tank, the tank, um, and moving on to the cab. Look at that cab detail, folks. Can you spot that? Just let's see if I can uh, zoom into that. Because that's, that's, that's impressive, that is. And I think I've sort of found the right light for that here, which is good. But uh, no, so zooming back out. So it's some stunning cab detail in there, folks. Really nice. It would, it would be good. It would be good. It would be good to have a crew in there. But hey, I mean that's something you can even do yourself. So you've got um, uh, handrails and the uh, the number, which is not uh, etched. It's just printed on, and uh, more handrails there. And then the bunker, which is a moulded coal load with. Uh, I I don't understand what the what the big wide window thing in the middle is there for. I, is that meant to be there? I don't know. But um so yeah, so there's the coal load and moving on to the back of the model, you've got uh handrail steps, uh lamp irons, forgot to mention, uh elsewhere as well, and then buffer and then a coupling, a NEM uh slimline tension lock. Uh, on on the back there, so that's that's pretty much a model. Other than some very nice detail underneath. Now, believe it or not, even though it's such a a, a long wheel based locomotive, um, it handles points and things really quite well, which is good. Um, so I guess what's left to do is to go and try it on the layout. So. That is what we're going to do. Right then, guys, so uh, here we are with the 5200. I'll just push this freight back slightly. Uh, now, it's not... I mean, it's easy to put on on a straight because the wheels are all basically coupled. But uh, in terms of putting it on on a curve, <laughs> that's a 
it's something you can try for yourself. Uh, so there we are with the locomotive. Now I will add that just before filming this review, it received about uh, 25 minutes running in in each direction. So it sort of warmed up, geared to go. It hadn't been properly ran in. It's uh, only been in Jacob's possession a couple of weeks. So um, I guess <laughs> let's see what she can do. Oh, it's caught on the point. Oops. There we go. Right, I'll see you in a sec, guys. it folks the uh, the Hornby 5200 class uh, <laughs> yet again surprise surprise another locomotive review I am speechless it is one gorgeous model um, I don't think I don't think the camera really does it justice you know it has to be in your hands it you have to feel it and feel what it's like. See it run right before your eyes, before you can judge how good it is. But my my feeling of it is it's just uh, it's well worth the money. Um, there have been problems experienced with these models, but this this locomotive looks to be one one of the one of the models that made it. Um, it's oh. Stunning guys, absolutely stunning. I really couldn't recommend it enough. So that's pretty much it from me. Great model, good review, and um, I'm happy to happy to end the video here. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, like me on Facebook as Cruiser Road four four seven two, and uh, all the links are below. By the way, um, including. If you want to know what cameras I use, uh, they're all linked below. All that stuff is below. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you later. Oh, yep, it's that point again.